Okay, well, here we are. Uh, it's Friday late afternoon. Midly uh, an election campaign, all systems go, call centre going, videos going up, still fight with the BBC, still fight with ITV, get the films out. And uh, just been told, Paul and three of other activists have been arrested outside the Indian Embassy in London today. Our lads went along there, uh, Kent Company and one of the London companies went along to help defend the Indian Embassy against the lunatics of Anjam Choudhury's fanatical mob who were there screaming abuse at India because it is a secular country. They want to introduce Sharia law, not just to Britain, but to India, which is, in a, which is a Hindu country and Sikh. So this is what we're up against. Our lads went along, it was a bit of confrontation and as usual the Metropolitan Police waded in, arrested our guys. So right now, Paul and three of your lads are languishing in a prison cell somewhere in London. Uh, and this is becoming almost a weekly occurrence now, where the police turn up and arrest us because we have the audacity to dare to stand up against these bloody Muslim fanatics. You know, our message is simple to the police and the police chiefs. Do your bloody job and then citizens like us wouldn't have to go out and defend this country against Islamic terrorists and wannabe terrorists and jihadists. And you know, it's ironic. The people, the lefties always say, oh, Britain first are racist, nothing racist about us. Today our people are lying in jail because they were there defending the Indian Embassy in London, something that the police seem unable to do. So I salute the lads, they're lying in jail right now, I want them to know that everybody's behind them. We'll keep this operation running, God bless them. I know some of the lads' wives, uh, one man in particular, his wife is not very well at all, but he's lying in jail right now for Britain, for you, for me. So God bless them, say a prayer for them, keep them in your thoughts, and the fight goes on. No surrender, thank you.